Hey guys, today we have another herbalism guide for World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. Today we are discussing an herbalism route in Eastern Drustvar. This herbalism route is one of the more profitable routes in patch 8.1.5. In particular, it values the higher priced herbs of Siren's Pollen and Riverbud, although it also gives a fair bit of Winter's Kiss, Sea Stalk, Anchorweed, and Star Moss. The route also passes near at least four different bubbling cauldrons, so if you have the Alchemist Tools of the Trade tool, you have additional opportunities for profit. The route can begin at several places, but I recommend starting at Fallhaven, Fletcher's Hollow, or Hangman's Point. The complete route takes approximately 12 minutes to run, meaning it should be able to be looped indefinitely, as node clusters seem to have a respawn timer of about 8 minutes. This also means you can adjust the route to skip the Fletcher's Hollow area if you lack an easy method for crossing the water. In an hour test of this route, we were able to harvest 276 Siren's Pollen, worth 26 gold apiece, 71 Winter's Kiss, worth 12 gold apiece, 113 Riverbud, worth 21 gold apiece, 144 Sea Stalks, worth 11 gold apiece, 83 Star Moss, worth 11 gold apiece, and 81 Anchorweed, worth 43 gold apiece, for a total value of 16,221 gold from herbs. We were also able to gather from 12 bubbling cauldrons across 5 laps of the route, awarding an additional 3,200 gold worth of flasks and potions, as well as a mystic cauldron with an approximate value of 5,000 gold. All told, our liquid revenue from an hour of farming was 19,420 gold, as well as a mystic cauldron. We also got a handful of war resources and grace from various treasure chests along the route. Another huge advantage to this route is that it can be done by a leveling tune in order to level, granting a level in about 40 minutes with full experience buffs and heirlooms active. To maximize the effectiveness of the route, be sure to be herbing in a tank spec or with coarse leather barding to prevent being dismounted when attacked while running between notes. Alternatively, mono-hardened stirrups can be used to allow you to pick flowers without dismounting. This can also be achieved using the Sky Golem mount, craftable by engineers, or with the mechanized lumber extractor, earned by gathering 300 toys on your account. The same effect can also be achieved by druids in travel form. The ability to water walk with a water strider or path of frost also makes this route much easier to run. That's all for today. Let me know in the comments section below how this route does for you or if you have any comments or suggestions, and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button.